My brother, what is going on? How are you doing today? I'm doing fucking amazing. It's Saturday, 27th of July. The time is 1111 right now. Let's go. And in this video, I'm about to transform your life, my bro. I know you're sitting there. You probably have a bit of confusion in your life, a bit of doubt, a bit of uncertainty. How do I truly change my life, John? Well, sit back and relax and take notes on this video. Because I'm telling you, my bro, I'm about to drop some game for you that you've never heard before. And I can hand on my heart say this video, if applied by the 2% of you that will actually apply it, will change your life. I don't say that lightly, like, yeah, bro, it will change your life. No, bro, like, the external world you live in, the results you start to get in your life will be so profound that you'll question, why the fuck was it not this obvious to you before? Why was it not this simple for me before? So, let's get into this video. Before I start, inside the description, there is a 30-day discipline challenge. You can access it for completely free. And I'm going to share with you in more detail the five habits I use to transform my life. And also, there's going to be a 30-day discipline challenge in there. And I'm going to be doing one coaching call a week where you can jump on and ask me any questions, right? So access that below. Now, my brother, in this video, I wanna share with you the five habits that transformed my life, okay? I've been on my self-development journey now for around eight years, I would say. So when I first picked up my first book, which was Goals by Brian Tracy. And I read this book and it transformed my life. Hopefully this mic is working. And when I read this book, one of the things he said in there is, you can change yourself. I was like, damn, bro, I can change myself? Because up until that point in my life here, I just genuinely saw myself as a fucking lazy fucking guy who couldn't do anything he set his mind to. And everything I would try, I would always quit. That's how I viewed myself. And I read this book and I was like, fuck me, I can change. From that eight years, guys, completely transformed my life around, completely. I've been able to travel the world, over 30 countries. I'm in incredible shape. I have incredible habits. I live an incredible life. I'm serving my purpose. I'm living by God. Truly, I feel blessed. It's the only way I can describe it, guys. I feel at peace. I really feel at peace. I feel like I, I live a life of just happiness and, and abundance. And... Over those years, like I said, there's five habits I've boiled, boiled this down to, to live a, a good life. And I'm not saying like, guys, you, you apply these habits and then everything changes. Like you're always going to be in a happy state and there's never going to be any challenges in your way. No, bro, that is life. But what I've realized on this journey is that it's not about what happens in life. It's who you are and how you respond to it, right? If you are a fucking bitch, loser who has terrible habits right and challenges happen in your life they're going to seem bigger than they are if anything my challenges in my life have got bigger but i got better bro i got better do you see the difference here when you are going against yourself you have the bad habits bro you're snoozing the alarm you're skipping the workouts you're not eating clean you're wasting time on social media you're doing all of these negative habits. Bro, it's like when life throws shit at you, now it's an uphill battle even more. You see what I'm saying to you? It's like, oh, fuck. Not only am I losing in life, but I've got to deal with this as well. When you are a fucking winner, my bro, and you apply the five habits I'm about to share with you, bro, what, what have you got for me? Bring it on. And because you develop character, character simply means the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act. When, once you develop character, when shit comes at you in your life, you handle it like a motherfucking G. That's how it goes, all right? Because again, you watch my content, guys, the more you consume this content, if you join the Discipline 30 and you come to my coaching calls, you will start to learn about the power of the self-image and how you see yourself is massively going to determine the type of action you take on your life, okay? I just had one brother reach out to me, say, I'm ready to join Brotherhood. That's how I do this, guys. I manually speak to the guys who I'm going to bring into brotherhood. Anyway, 
So, the person you see is the person you will be. You have to understand this, guys. Like, you have to understand this if you want to change your life. You will never outwork your self-image. You can work, and I know so many of you brothers here watching this, you tried and you are trying to succeed in life. You're taking the action, man. You're going to the gym. You're taking these next steps to get to this life you envision in your mind. But there seems to be this invisible wall getting in your way, right? This like almost block. And you go, go, go. Ah, you go back on yourself, man. You go, go, go. You go back on yourself. How do I know this, bro? I was you, man. I was you, brother. And until you change the self-image, the way you see yourself, nothing will change. You might have temporary fixes in your life and changes happen there, but it's always going to go back to how you see yourself. And again, you can go out there and force your way to your goals. But what I found to be the most effective way, it's actually a diagram I came up with myself, right? It's a four-step process. I can make a YouTube video. I'm going to make a YouTube video on it as well. But basically, it goes like this, right? You visualize your higher self. You, you, vis no, you create a vision of your higher self. Then you visualize seeing that higher self. You envision it in your mind because we all know mind sets everything. And once you envision this highest version of yourself, my bro, then, yeah, you start to act from that, invi that vision you have in your mind. So you act from that paradigm. Here's the key. You reflect upon that. Because a lot of you watching this right now, you're going to tell me, John, I don't have discipline, man. John, I don't have uh, confidence, man. John, I don't have this or I don't have that. But if I was to ask you, tell me one thing you've done this week or this month that built confidence. Tell me one thing you've done this month or this week that built discipline. You would be able to tell me. The problem is you don't see it. You don't reflect on it. So your mind filters out everything that goes true to your belief system. If you believe you don't have confidence, your brain will look for that. If you believe you're confident, your brain will look for that. Obviously, there's, there's a, a certain process and formula you need to follow. We teach this inside a brotherhood. But there's a certain formula that you go through to reprogram your mind. But the, the principle stands the same is you have to see yourself as that type of person okay anyway let's jump into this right the five habits that transformed my life now why can i guarantee these will truly change your life if you apply them of course because most guys online yeah most of these these fucking gurus and these self-development guys they tell you to do things you have no control over right sort of like grow the business Approach the girl. Do this. I'm like, bro, why the fuck is everyone so focused on the external things they have no control over? I can't control, bro, if the girl says yes to me if I go and speak to her. I can't control if my bank account grows. I can't control if my business grows. I can't control if my physique, if I get fucking huge and get ripped. I can't control that, but what I can control, because they're all effects, I can control the cause to those effects. And that's one of my biggest things that I teach people. I don't coach people on these external things. I coach you on things that you have full control over. So with that being said, if you, ha if you know you have full control over these habits, which will not directly get you the result, I'm not saying that, brother, because again, when you start to level up your life truly and you apply my principles, you're going to realize, my brother, you don't get what you want, you get who you are. You attract it to you. Yeah? You put an energy out there, boom, it comes back to you. That's how it works. So I can teach you tactics and these little nuances, right? How to make money online or how to go and speak to a girl or how to get in shape, whatever it might be. But at the end of the day, you have to realize again, your character is what's going to go out and get the result because we all know, guys, we know what to do, but do we do it? These are realizations I had in my life. I remember when I was trying to get in shape and I decided to invest in a coach. The plan he gave me, my bro, I already knew. I knew how to work out. I had been training. I knew the macros. I had worked those out. But what I didn't have was the mindset. What I didn't have was the self-image of a fucking savage, right? You see the difference? What I didn't have was the understanding of let go of the outcome. Let go of the outcome. When I say this, people don't understand it, man. They're like, yeah, I understand. Let go of the outcome. No, if you truly understood what I meant there by letting go of the outcome, 
the way you would think, feel and act day to day will be very, very different. Once you let go of the outcome and you attach to the process, everything else will follow from there. When I'm getting in more and better shape in my life, my bro, I don't care about how I look as much as I care about did I train hard as fuck today? Yes, I did. Did I eat clean today? Yes, I did. That's all I care about because I've understood that the effort and the action that I take is the reward. Do you understand? I, I've realized this, like the physique, the money, they're all byproducts. And you know, you know, if you've ever had any sort of success in your life, whether you've got in shape and you've lost weight or you've built a physique or you've made money online or you've gone and approached a girl and got her number, you realize how quickly short lived that is. You've realized that, haven't you? You're like, damn, like it never seems to bring you the thing you want. It never seems to satisfy your needs. But let me ask you this, my brother. In those times where you crushed the fucking workout, you ate clean that day, you woke up early, you done the things you know you needed to do that was aligned with your higher self, you feel good even without the direct result. Do you understand? You might not have the money in the bank. You might not have the physique. You might not have the girlfriend, but when you are doing the things required to attain the external goal, the outcome, you naturally feel aligned with it because you know subconsciously, you know within your heart that you're doing the things required to bring that to you. Simple questions, guys, like would your future self who's already at this level, would they behave in that way? If you're not getting those results in your life, the answer will always be no. Once you truly align with that, guys, I'm telling you right now, once you say, all right, I'm going to let go of that. For me, it was fitness was the biggest one. Once I said, I'm going to let go of that, bro. I'm going to let go of how I look. Yes, I want to look good. That's a part of it. I do want to look good. I want to get ripped. But I'm going to let go of that. What I'm going to commit to, what I'm going to focus on is working out and my macros. Simple, right? Other areas of my life. When I was like, oh, I want to become more disciplined. I was like, okay, I'm going to let go of being more disciplined. I'm going to commit to waking up early. So I'd wake up at 4.44. I would let go of the outcome attached to the process and Everything would unfold from there, my bro. You know, same with business, for example. When I upload YouTube videos, man, I'm let go of the money. Like, hey, let me just provide value to the marketplace. Let me just serve people. Once I'd done this, more money started to pour in than ever before. Why? Because I wasn't like, I need money. How do I get money? How do I get money? Nah, bro. How do I change lives? How do I provide value? Completely different paradigm. Detached from the outcome, attached to the process. Now, let's get into the five habits that are going to transform your life. Like I said, that you have full control over. So if you go ahead and apply the Discipline 30 Challenge and you quit, well, I'm sorry to tell you, my brother, you don't want it bad enough. Simple as that. The, this challenge is being put together to make it so simple, so easy, that you can only win. You can only win from this, brother. And if you don't Commit to this. Like I, I've really noticed this recently, guys. As you know, I run brotherhood.co. I coach inside of Iman Gadi's communities. I coach inside other communities where I speak to hundreds. And at this point, I've spoke to thousands of young men. I, like I said, I manage my uh, operations in my business at the moment. I'm speaking to people every day as I'm building brotherhood because I love speaking to my brothers. I love getting to know you guys. So I'm speaking to them daily. And what I've observed, man, real talk, most people don't want it. They don't want to do the hard work. They don't want to do the hard work. They like the idea, but as soon as it gets challenging, oh, no, I can't do this, and they quit. They fucking quit, man. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. The five habits. Number one, and I learned this when I was at Iman Gadzi's Mastermind. This was a few years ago now, the Meridian Mastermind in London, and we went for a lunch, and on the way home from lunch, I was speaking to him, and I said, hey, Iman, What's the number one habit I can form? And he thought for a moment and he said, wake up at the same time every day. And I ran with that. And I started to wake up at the same time every day. I think back then I was doing like 7 a.m. or something like that. The principle here, guys, the first habit is wake up at the same time every day. Now, waking up at the same time every day, it builds routine. It builds structure in your life. It allows you to get into a flow in your life because we know what happens guys if we wake up at random times then we're all over the place whereas for me 
wake up at the moment i'm doing 4 4 4 a.m you can follow me on instagram to see me do it daily and get inspired 4 4 4 a.m i wake up straight into my meditation right i read over my winner worksheet which is again in brotherhood read over that i then go into my meditation i go and work out i come back i study or sometimes i study before and then i go and do deep work right and i work on my business and if i like the old version of me when i would miss my alarm or snooze my alarm or wake up without an alarm my whole day would be scattered and i'll be playing catch up all day you know i'll be playing catch up all day so the principle here guys is wake up at the same time every day by the way i go over these in more detail hit the top link in the description to get the discipline 30 for free so wake up at the same time every day if you want to if you want to build discipline in your life though and you want to build a stronger character right again this isn't for everyone because most guys are soft if you want to build character and you want to build more of a stronger identity like i was speaking about before wake up earlier my bro now i've experimented with this in my life i've done the whole 444 wake ups that's what i'm currently doing but i'm adaptable to this because for me there are certain points in my life where i value my sleep as well right i value sleeping i value getting a good night's sleep for the last month or so i've been doing 444 wake ups with my intention is to strengthen discipline okay but there will be times in my life, like at the end of this month, I'm heading off to Colombia, probably going to go out with friends, have fun, enjoy myself a bit more, explore the city, right? So I'm going to allow myself to maybe say, hey, let's wake up at 6 a.m., for example. I'm flexible with this, but I abide by the principle of wake up at the same time. But you've got to make that decision and have a clear intention. Like I said, someone like me, I'm, I'm older than you guys, most likely, and I'm further ahead on my journey. I've done periods of my life, real talk, guys, yeah? I would get up at 4.44 a.m. every single day for like over a year straight. I remember Christmas Day, right? Or no, New Year's Eve. I remember I got like one and a half hours sleep. I was still up at 4.44. I truly committed to that because I was like, I know it's going to build character. So once you've built these habits, you get to know yourself, right? And you can be a bit more flexible. But I think in the initial stages when you're building these habits, guys, do something big, right? Do something drastic in a short space of time. It will shift your life forever. Okay, so that's the first one. Second habit, yeah, is meditation. Now, again, I know, I know you guys are going to go, oh, meditation, man, I don't need to meditate, yeah, yeah, fuck all that. Guys, I get it, right? But let me explain it to you in a different way you've never heard before. For me, meditation is about this, directing my focus, directing my energy, right? Connecting to God. When I meditate, guys, it all comes down to what is my intention for this meditation. Let me ask you, what bad consequences are there going to be of you connecting to your higher self and connecting to God and focusing your energy on an intention of something you want in your life or some emotion you want to experience or some kind of thing you're manifesting in your life? What bad things will come from that? Nothing. Every day I will connect to myself for 30 to 60 minutes. I sit down with myself. I meditate. I go within. I get guidance from God like I said. Sometimes I'm going to pray because I've heard this great quote, praying is speaking to God, meditation is listening to God. But when you go within, guys, and you meditate and you truly, truly step into that, you will transform your life. It's called entering into the unseen, right? Entering into silence. I can't tell you how profound this will be for your life. But again, most of you are going to watch this video. You're going to hear this information. You're going to go, yeah, this makes sense. But will you commit to it, brother? Will you commit to it? Or will you be like most people and you start for a few days and then you stop? It's like anything in life, guys. You know, you go to the gym, you don't get results on day one. It takes a long time, my bro. So whenever you're going to apply one of these habits I am talking about, remember, yeah, that it, it, it requires commitment. It requires you to commit to this and say, yeah, I'm going to go all in on that, man. I'm going to make this truly a habit in my life and you won't stop. That's why, again, I put together the Discipline 30. So enter into the unseen, my brother. Meditation. Spend time in solitude. Connect to your higher self. Envision your future life, bro. No, not your future life. I need to take that back. This is a realization I had recently as well. There is no future. There is no past. All we have is now. All the subconscious mind understands is now. Don't visualize your future life. Visualize the life you live now. Once your brain believes it, it will accept it or bring it into your reality. What you can conceive, right, then you will start to believe it. Once you believe it, you will achieve it. 
So you need to visualize, step into the scenes, set the energy on the reality you're living now. You will attract it to you. Okay. Now, the third habit, studying. Guys, if you are not learning and absorbing new information, you are going to be falling behind. You're going to have a longer journey because there's people out there like you consuming this video right now. Do you know how long this took me to figure out? And I'm just here like, here you go. Apply this shit. You know, in the Discipline 30, the, the free challenge I put together, that, that took me so long to figure out. And I handle my heart, my brother. It's going to change your life, man. It's going to transform your life. You see the power of learning stuff, but of course, learning, you have to apply it, right? Application is the key. But consuming, I've learned as well, consuming information, sometimes you might not apply it in that moment. But looking back, you're like, oh, that makes sense. I understand that now, right? You connect the dots looking back. So every day I like to spend a minimum of 30 minutes learning and consuming new information. Again, I want to put a point across here. This is for everything in life. Keep it simple. What I used to do is I would jump from book to book, video to video, and overwhelm and confuse myself. Now when I'm studying, right, I will study one topic at one given time. I don't want to jump and study like three or four different things because that will lead to confusion. Do you see? So my study time is very sacred, very specific on what I'm learning. But I'm still open to like, you know, the other day I went on a walk, I listened to an audiobook or I watch a podcast. But for me, that's more of like a relaxed learning, right? Studying is very different for me from learning. And when I study as well, guys, like to give you some context here, when I read or listen to a book, so right now I've been reading one of my books, you can see the note taking is serious. And I've nearly completed this book, right? It goes on and on, guys, not stopping. And I've nearly completed that book. What will I do is I will spend a few hours going back through all of that book. And even now, as I go through it, I'm reading, I'm reading it, and I go back on the notes. I'm like, damn, I forgot that part. And that one thing I restarted to apply in my life, man, changes my life, you know? It's not about how many books you read. It's how many books are going to go through you, how many books you're going to absorb and apply that information into your life because repetition is the mother of skill. Until they become unconscious in your mind, it's just pointless information in a way. Of course, like I said, though, when you're learning and learning, you start to take little things here and there, but studying and applying is the key. You know what I'm saying to you? Like You could take one thing away from this video and it could transform your life. So that's the, second, that's the third one, studying, right? Really believe in that one. Now, third one, fourth one, working out and tracking your macros. Brother, if you are a man, okay, and you, you, you never wake up and say, hey, bro, I want to be skinnier today. Hey, bro, I want to be fatter today. Hey, bro, I don't want to be in shape. No man ever said that. Whenever you see a man with a strong physique, you can't not respect that because you understand there was hard work and dedication and effort put into it. Regardless, but you see these guys on Instagram as well. He's on steroids, bro. Stop projecting your limiting beliefs onto this man. Regardless if he's on steroids or not, he's still put in the hard fucking work to achieve the result. You can't not admire a man who works on his physique because you know it can't be cheated. So if you're a man and you're trying to build confidence in your life, bro, the first place to start is in the fucking gym. The second place to start is in the kitchen, my guy. If you do not eat clean, bro, you're fucking yourself up, man. We all know how it is, bro. We all know how it is when you eat junk food. It ruins your confidence, man. It ruins your confidence and it knocks, it just knocks who you are as a person. I believe that People that eat junk food, it's probably one of the, the easiest things you can do to weaken character because it's such a short-term fix. Like you can get something, eat it, and it's like gone in a few seconds or minutes, right? And you're like, oh, wow, just consumed excess calories now, which takes you away from the dream physique, being ripped, having six-pack. You know what I'm saying to you, bro? Again, this question is, when you get married, when you have your family, you have your wife, how do you want her to see you, my bro? How would you envision yourself when you go and approach that girl? Bro, are you swole? Do you have muscles? Or are you fucking skinny and fat, bro? You know the answer. I can't tell you, my bro, how much confidence it gave me when I got fucking jacked, bro. 
I got, I put in on insane muscle and I look good, man. And I'm six foot five as well. It's very challenging to do that, but it gives you a different level of confidence. Every single one of you right now, if I said, do you want to be more confident? You're going to say, yes, I do, John. Well then, brother, get after it. Put in that work, man. If you want to know more about this as well, you can apply to join Brotherhood. We have a fitness, health and fitness coach in there who's been doing this for 14 years. We're going to give you a workout plan. We're going to give you your macros all dialed in, my brother. So you can hit the link in the description to apply and I'll see you in there. Habit number five, get that money. <laughs> get that money, bro. Work on your business, develop skills, do things that are going to prog progress you and advance you in the area of finances and money. This, but it's very obvious. I could not live the life I'm living now. If you don't know my, you know, what I do and who I am, like go to my Instagram, you'll see. But I've been traveling now for the past year and a half. I was living in London before that in a million dollar apartment. All right, had a sick car, decided I'm gonna leave London. I went to Tulum, Mexico. After that, I decided to go to Dubai, go to a mastermind out there. That was 25 grand to go to that. Then I was like, you know what? After Dubai, I decided to go to Bali. I went to Bali, saw my friend in Bali. After Bali, I was like, let me go see my other friend in Thailand. After Thailand, I decided to go back to Dubai. After Dubai, I'm back in Mexico right now. And at the end of this month, I'm off to uh, Colombia. And I've done it in a nice way, guys. I'm not no fucking peasant backpacking, right? Money allows me to live this life, plain and simple. If I didn't have money, I can't live this life. If you're not doing things to get your money up, guys, what are you doing, my brother? What are you doing? But again, goes back to what I said before. The reason why I'm saying money making activities last is because when I wasn't working on myself and being the best version of me, I didn't make as much money as when I started to work on myself and build habits and become the ideal version I saw in my mind. Money's a byproduct of who you are, bro. This is why I really fucking hate these guys online. Like, Just make money. Here's how you make money. When 99% of guys are not ready to even receive the money they're asking for. And on top of that, yeah, I believe real guys, like the real ones, subconsciously, they're like this, bro. They're like, man, like, even if I make more money, I'm still going to be a fucking geek. And this is what happened to me. I was like, bro, even if I, because I would make money, I would make 10 grand a month, 20 grand, and I'd be like, go back on myself. Because I wasn't being true to my habits, my bro. I remember when I was in Colombia, this was like years ago now. And I remember we had our biggest month in our business we had back then. It was 100K in a month, right? Revenue. And I remember sitting there in a condo with the ocean views and I just felt like shit, my bro. I felt like shit. Had all this money coming in, had this freedom lifestyle, but wasn't working out, wasn't eating clean, didn't have the wake up time dialed in. Like all of that stuff, guys, all of the habits I just told you, I didn't have dialed in, so the money didn't change me. And I know for a fact that stopped me from pushing in business because I was like, yeah, but this ain't changing who I am. You see the difference? So all of the habits I mentioned before are going to strengthen that character. And in reflection of that, you will make more money naturally. But yeah, guys, look, I'm going to make content on how to grow your business and things like that. But ultimately, once you elevate yourself to a higher version and you become this, this version of yourself who is worthy of that money, the money will come to you, brother. This is why, like I said, I, don't, I just despise all of these guys. This, this is the best business model. No, no, there is no best business model, brother. My brother, yeah, my brother, he was trying SMMA, for example, and I was like teaching him about what I don't, because I used to run a marketing agency. I was teaching him about SMMA and this and that. And he just wasn't taking action on it because he didn't want to do that. Then he decided to do YouTube faceless videos, right? So he started doing that. And now he's making good money. Some months he's made 20,000, right? It's not that he didn't have the discipline necessarily for the other business model. He just done something he wanted to do that he felt aligned with. So I'm saying to you, how many of you are trying to make money online and you know, like, I can do this, but there's resistance there. There's a force there. You get sold by all these guys. The best way to make money is with an agency. The best way to make money is doing sales. Bruv, just think for yourself, what do you want to do? What do you want to do, right? For me, when I started off, I ran a marketing agency because I was told to do that. Then I was like, fuck this. I set up a coaching business, helping people with mindset. Now I've launched brotherhood.co and I invest in stocks. That's how I make my money. So no one told me to do an online community for young men to help them with their fitness, their business and their mindset. But I was like, I want to fucking do that. And I do very well from that. And I changed lives from that. And I, I tell people like, bro, it's not about the business model. All these guys telling you this is the, 
bro, yeah, there's some people that get results in those businesses, but ultimately, guys, if you take a step back and truly go within and go, what do I want to do? What do I want to do to make money, yeah? You find the answer, brother. I still believe if you're getting started, yeah, a good business model to get into is like a service-based business, whether that's coaching or agency. But like, again, if you want to do coaching, yeah, don't do copywriting. Let's say you're into fitness and health. Sell, sell fitness and health, bro, you know? Do what you feel aligned with. Do what you feel called to, brother. You see what I'm saying? So those are the five habits, bro. If you want to know more about them, yeah, go hit the top link in my description and go to the do the Discipline 30 Challenge. And um, yeah, man, like I said, there's going to be weekly coaching calls. I don't know how long I'm going to do that for. But like I said, for me, I just want to build a real fucking tribe of, of brothers who are serious and want to win, you know? If you want to know more about how I can help you and uh, join a team of winners, go to brotherhood.co. Win, simple. And uh, other than that, my bro, these videos come from the heart, man. Like, I'm here telling you what I wish I knew and what I know is going to change your life. Whether you invest in brotherhood or not, whether you work with me further or not, I really do not care, my bro. I want to see you win. I want to see you win, brother. So take what I'm saying, apply what I'm saying, and brother, just realize that, you know, the key to all of this, man, is to become the best version of you. When you become the best version of you, everything else unfolds from that. Stop thinking that it's outside of you. Stop listening to these other geeks who are like, clearly, bro, just have a fucking product they're going to sell you on, which is aligned with the business model they're teaching you, whatever the fuck nonsense it is, right? And I'm never going to sell out. I'm always going to stay true to my message, which is mindset is everything, because I know mindset is everything, okay? You build the best version of you, right? And everything in your life becomes better. We're not even here just talking about making money, guys. We're talking about becoming a fucking man, brother. If I just clicked my fingers and gave you money right now, yeah, you'd be richer in the bank, but you wouldn't be richer in your soul and your heart, man. All right? Pray you found this video valuable, man. Really, I do. Go and follow me on Instagram. And bro, let's go, man. This channel's about to blow up. God bless. No slacking.